Now I've t- I've tweeted. I'm I'm tweeting as we don't know, because I, I'm doing a bit about the drama as part of that show, which is on on Wednesdays, uh, ten o'clock to twelve o'clock, and uh, there is a there is a play, uh, which I won't go into too much. But if you if you look for Crossing Queen Street, uh, it's based on John's thoughts about the the crossing or lack of crossing across Queen Street. So. Our take on the museum moving outside is that uh, we don't go very far. We come out of the museum and uh, we can't get across the road, so that's the end of it, really. Uh, But that's only so far. That story will be continued later on. Uh, But anyway, look for W-E-N-O-T-N-O on Twitter and you'll find I've tweeted about uh, this uh, part of Antibodies which is called uh, Yielding Stone, or Middle England. And it's about decolonising Exeter, I guess, as in central Exeter, because the map is definitely the, the, the classic city, more or less sort of pre-war shape, I guess. Uh, and I, my first thought is why, why, the, why the campus isn't part of it, because there's still a colony, a colonising or imperial aspect to it I think and I've, I've found online a an article I, I noticed some time ago so I, I have found this so the, the link is there but you might you might you might find it anyway uh, hang on just a moment let me clip it is decolonizing reading lists an erosion of standards so that the, the question is asked in a fairly open way by expose and that's the online comment editor, Erwin Abley Watton. And so you, you've got the decolonising aspect in there, which I guess is similar to the uh, the show that's part of Antibodies. But there's there's also uh, the sort of official, um, the proper books are about imperial history, which has always been quite strong in Exeter. As a, as a university, and comments in blogs and tweets and sort of thing might be said in the coffee bars in the town. That's not quite as uh, legitimate knowledge. Uh, Forty professors have expressed opposition to guidance released by the university on decolonising course reading lists. So it go, go, goes on, but I. I I'd, what, I'd, what I'd like to do um, over, over the weekend or maybe next week or sometime is locate where the um, the points are on the campus that represent the various points of view about this and just to expand the map because at the, at the moment we've got there's basically three maps there's the antibodies map which mostly shows the antibodies and then also shows the um, museum at large and then there's the museum at large map which is the other way around and then there's a map, what is, is what has been, um, a self-guided tour through Exeter's colonial landmarks, which you can find at this, um, uh, it's called something else. Oh, sorry, I've lost, I'm losing all my bits of paper at the moment. But basically opposite, op- find Make Tank on Paris Street and then across the road and downhill a little bit. You you can pick up that map there, but I think we I think it should expand towards the campus. Any-